Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Houston, Texas, we are live at Toyota Center tonight. You see, this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, but some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Hooker. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Beautiful strike. Collar tie, and they separate. Connects with a right. He loaded up there on that high kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts. And now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry, rotates the high punch, taking for right. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. He lands flush with that right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh, 
While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Choi. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Choi gets up, he is back on the feet here. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, not much set up behind it, the right hook misses. She has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Hooker's kick is blocked. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Try to establish that jab. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Final seconds of round one. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, he heard a bell in the jab. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. What a punch. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Plus right hand is true. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, missed on that one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Hooker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Clean with the right hook. 
Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown score. Looked look like it did start him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. This fight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Just out of range with that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some sick take down, cut, take down, cut. Over and over, he secured this take down. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually he makes you tap. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and that's yeah. the end of round number two. Oh, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you want. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's done. He's done. Oh, big left hook there. All right, single collar tie now. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, that was on. There's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Effective strike there by Choi. And there comes the separation now. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the takedown. Oh, hammer fist here by Hooker. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Back and forth we go here. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. And they separate. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go to the